So I'm going to do some sort of like collage type thing today. Um, I just started it off. I've um, got some mixed media paper. Okay, I don't use watercolour paper. I use the mixed media one because it's just cheaper. And I've put down some book pages. And this is what we've done when I gel printed the other day. That's actually a book page. It's one of the end, end ones. I think I use that to roll off. But I actually look, really like it. So I've put that on and a bit of that. So it's going to be boho related. I've got some colours, some very bright colours, <laughs> which I haven't used these for years. I'm hoping they're right. I haven't opened them, but I love these. I loved these paints when I got them. So, so yeah, I've tried. So I've stuck that down with um, matte medium, okay, and dried off. And that's all I've done, okay. But I, I have stuck. I have put the matte medium right the way over as well okay just to give it a bit of protection really so i'm just going to paint and then we'll go from there do you know what i mean i'm just going to sort of fill in areas so i'm going to start off with this color oh. <laughs> yo it's bright that's it there. let's get across here oh i was going to put a backdrop let's in let's have a minute must do that because I can get paint on that and I love it. Some of this. It's like paper that they print on. I got this from the scrap store. It's sort of, sort of a bit glossy really. But it's quite nice once you cut it up and do different things with it. So I shall put that in the background. That's quite nice. It starts off a new, one of my new um, things I cut, end up cutting up and using. Right, here we go. That's all right. Yep, so I'm sort of just doing this. <laughs> So now I'm just, just watering this down a little bit, yeah. So where the edges are, just to blend that out a bit. But then I go in with white when I do that as well. So. And that's why I have it protected underneath. Okay, right, let's have a bit of this lovely blue and the paint's still perfect, so that's very good. So that's Dina Weekly, and aren't these ones, Ranger? Yeah, I think they are, if I remember rightly, so she got them right, because they're not dried out at all. I know they're they're not the cheapest of paints, but um, I did treat myself one year, so and they're still perfect. Much pink over here, but never mind. I'm gonna go in, and that should go a bit purpley. Again, don't forget, this is going to be cut up. There's plenty there. Cause that's... Want a bit of yellow on there. Should have done yellow first, really. I 
If it touches the blue and it's still wet, it goes green, as you know. Okay, and with some white on the top in a minute for a stencil, that is going to be great. Okay, so very gory, anybody can do this. So, right, got my white acrylic and I've got two stencils. So I think that's going to go straight in the middle and then I'm going to just come out with flowers around okay that's what i'm gonna do let's see what happens got a little bit of acetate here all right and i'll be sort of dabbing off getting the getting it loaded in there Yes, it does bleed outside, that's fine. No rubbing action, it's better if you do it that way. It's nearly dry now. I tried it rubbing to see what had happened, but it's um, it smudges a little bit, but I don't mind that either. So you can draw around it. Yeah, definitely pouncing is better. Okay, I'm just going to dry that a little bit 
and then go over the rest and fill in the rest of the area, all right? Okay, so that's all done. I've actually sealed mine, okay, because I'm quite happy with that. Yeah, very boho. I sealed it with this. Um, I saw something online once, and it's to do with, it's supposed to be similar to the Tim Holtz in glaze, yeah? Um, I think it was petroleum jelly, which I filled the pot up, and I put about, gosh, I would say it's about six to one, something like that of alcohol really stir it stir it stir it stir it and then just leave it and apparently the alcohol pushes the grease out of the the vaseline but it's still quite greasy but i must say it's pretty good so you know i put little bits on because here in the uk honestly it's so expensive that tim Holtz stuff but it is fantastic you know if you get your coupons and everything and all that it's brilliant has and i just rub that in it's on my hands a bit but it's not greasy it's not like a little bit maybe but not much okay but no different than using the glaze i'm not saying it's the same thing so i expect there's a lot more things in that glaze and it's firmer if anything this is slightly softer to the touch yeah but look good for your hands as well so that is totally sealed. Now I would leave that and then buff it up. Yeah. <clears throat> so I've already done it once, but I thought I'd show you again. I just wonder what happened. <laughs> thought I'd better have a sneak peek before I showed you. I mean, it might not work. I, mean, I want to draw on the top. I might not be able to do that. Okay, but this is, you know, just fancy doing that and I go from there. Uh, I would like to see what it's like on top of watercolour. I mean, acrylic, as you know, has got glue in it anyway. So it would be quite interesting I to experiment with that. I've had it there ages and it's really funny because I was looking for a brush and saw it. And I thought, oh my God, I've done that ages ago. And I used it, so... Because we don't want greasy things in our journals, do we? enough now okay right cutting up time um, I'll put these away and I'm going to do it blind so I'll do it that way okay the first thing I do is I might cut it to length height rather oh, I won't be able to do it on that so I'll cut it to uh, I reckon six okay and then I'll have enough there for something like a tall tag or something like that. So I'll cut right across to six. Then I can do the rest of my little cutter. So. And I promise I haven't looked. <laughs> <clears throat> so I don't know what end I'm starting from. So no idea. Um, should we do three? Yeah, we will. Because my journal's skinnier, isn't it? Yep, three. with on that one just a little bit thinner but not much look so that's good and yeah put that in half I think right let's have a look okay that's some nice ones yeah lovely so these are fantastic bases, nice and bright. Oh, look at that one. And that's the two skinny ones and they've worked out really well too. Oh, one's taller than the other for some reason. But here we go. That, they are great. I really like them. Okay, so I'm just gonna pick, um, 
I definitely love that one and that one tag well they're all nice actually and that one they're the best three I think these need a little bit more work but these don't so that's not bad yep yeah. let's have a look I think that because if I put something here then I've got that here yeah and I'm very interested to see whether my white pen works on those shall we have a go now even though it's a bit early because I'll most probably smudge it and I think it's going to work I just need to get it going a bit okay that this is the thin one so I don't know about Posca or oh, I don't know actually let's not sure how much is in there to be honest I think um it will work just need to keep it going if you know what I mean yeah that's good perfect right okay well I, I won't do that until I've, I've actually done them I'm thinking that that way actually because I could put something here then because I quite like that bit there and that one was that way wasn't it all that way I'm not sure yet Just find something to put on them but oh, that is very boho <laughs> right I've got to find some things now okay right okay I printed um, some more of these out so I shrunk them down two to a page so I've got the middle size ones not the large ones and then I shrunk them two to a page and they fit nicely on the tags that I want so that's great um yes I'm gonna use her so let me cut the top first you can I use this. I actually don't want it too deep, so I usually do it by eye now. I don't worry about a template, but um, I have been doing this for a long time. <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah, so the first one I had a little look at. All right, I always tend to do that. And all oh, this is from some wallpaper. Right, okay. I got this from the scrap store here in the UK. I literally just bumped a load of paint on. Okay, different colours. And then um, I went over it in gold. I wouldn't do it all because I might, some of this I might lose. But I just tried it on here first with the gold over the top and really liked it and i actually used it on there and that is the pebbio one gilding wax okay let's have had that a very long time that one. so i just thought a bit of sari silk would be nice and i found these colors that go beautifully a little bit more green in this one but it doesn't matter let me put that up there and against that yellow Let's have a look. I think I will. Okay. So this, honestly, it's this easy. Once you've done these, it's um, great. And you can decorate these even more if you want. This could be paper. It doesn't have to be fabric. And it's quite nice if you've got things overhanging as well. But let's say doesn't matter if you don't. Let's, let's put that on there. Okay, I think that's all that's going under, so. I'm not sure whether I want black. 
going around the outside now. I'm not 100% sure, right? I'm going to move this over just a little bit because it's, I haven't got um, enough room there, so I'll put that there. There's plenty on there. And there. rub that bit off and of course because we sealed it everything comes off really easily but i still got gold on my hands <laughs> because there and this is what i'm sort of using through the journal a bit oh i'll tell you what i was going to put so under there so I'll just put a bit more glue okay and i'm going to catch some of this Because I just think that looks like feathers without using feathers, so. I've used these, going to be using these quite a bit through the journal, so I'm following through on, like, my theme, really. And then... <laughs> I can't believe it when I saw that wallpaper. I tell you what, it will be good for in that gel printing. Got to do some of that, haven't I? Actually, gonna come up even higher. Right, just finish this. Okay, and then some sequins up here. Right, so I finished that one off. Okay, just, um, you might saw me stuck them down. So I had a phone call, so um, sequins. Yep, and I stitched around. Well, really I should have stitched around before I've done it because I had to stitch over the flower so it was stuck down so I've done the other two and put some grommets in and put some fibres through the top there okay so let's get on with another one so I picked this one that's nice and colourful yes um I thought I might use some of that down there so I'll stick that on first I had some something like that with dangly bits on, but I don't know. It's not cropped up in the boho stuff. I must have put it somewhere else. And I have no idea where I put it, so I won't be using it. <laughs> i got plenty here, though. Right, what I've got, this is off of um, spin neck curtain here. Okay, and just cut that out. Right. And yeah, and have it that no that way there. Okay, so you have to glue under the thicker bits there. Actually glue stick works quite well with this sometimes, so one at an angle I do tend to go straight that is my fault really but we are trying to work with it especially with boho because anything sort of goes really I'm gonna move that there okay let's got a bit of glue there so. Oh, 
or I re-whitened that as well with the Posca pen. The Posca pen worked better than my little one. So. Okay. Also, you can do these and stencil some flowers out on them and then cut them, you know. I think I've done that last time, actually. My boho tags I done. I think my boho playlist will be down below. Got some few that I've done a few years ago. I actually really enjoyed it when I got into it. Oh, gosh, it was really daunting at first, but... I quite like that, the way it is. So let's just do the Posca pen here. And then, I think I'll put the sequins down, down here, perhaps. And this is the time to use them all, isn't it? I just grabbed a handful. What's the betting? There's no small gum ones. Okay, and then we have fluff at the top. I'll right, leave that dry while we get on with the other one. Oh, and this is so nice, isn't it? I'm going to do that first because I really like that, that one. Okay, right. I don't really want too much that I might just have fabric on this one because I really like this tag. My you, I'll go in there. Just lift in a little bit. And I'm going to find something to go there. Even if I make a little fabric flower myself. Because I'm liking that in that pink there. I will say, um, this one gave me the most trouble. And I think I know the reason why is because I wanted to keep this. Yeah, I was sort of like thinking, no, I want to see this because it was so pretty. And I really like the car, really like the tag as it was, if you know what I mean. So... I had to sort of work around it. And I found these little flowers and I just put a bit of sari silk fibres, you know, the stuff that comes off the edges like this. Okay, in there and then stuck those tiny little flowers on. And I think that works. And I found this trim in my stash, yeah, that I've had ages. So that was great and that worked. And then that flower. And then because I like that flower there, I went and got the other flower and put that there. <laughs> so I thought, yay, we sorted. So there they are. But 
you, I bet you wouldn't have thought they was going to look like that when I started, did you? Did you? <laughs> um, they've still got a few left here, so depending on where they need to go in the journal. They, this one, yeah, I'm not so keen on, but it will be transformed. Okay, I should show you a bit closer, perhaps. And that one now. Yeah, they lay flat after a couple of days. Just squish something on them. They're actually very delicate, so that's quite nice. There we go. Okay, well, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. And I'll speak to you very soon. Bye.